Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the camera control button on your iPhone 17 Pro Max, iPhone 17 Pro, iPhone 17 and iPhone Air with tips, tricks, features, settings and everything you can do. Let's get started. Now for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the iPhone 17 Pro, but it's going to be pretty much the same for all iPhones that have camera control. So even if you have the iPhone 16 Pro, you'll be able to utilize this as well. So first, let's go over some of the functions that you have available to you with camera control. And the basic one is to launch the camera app. So you can just press on the camera control button once. It'll open your camera app like this. You can also use this button to take a photo. So line your photo, press, it'll take the photo. Now that's traditionally what most people are using camera control for. However, there are quite a few settings built right in by using some different types of presses and slides. So first off, light presses. So not pressing fully so it clicks, but like a half press is gonna bring up extra settings like you saw just there. So I'm gonna press, I can bring up those settings. In this case, it's in a zoom tab here. So I can actually press and then slide to move between my zooms. Now, depending on which iPhone you have, you'll see more or less zoom options. Now, if you double half press or double light press on this, it's going to bring up the different camera options you have and settings that you can use to customize your photo. So on the left, we have tone, we have styles, we have the cameras, zoom, depth, and exposure. So I'll start with cameras. And if you just release for a bit, that's how it's going to activate that setting. And then you'll have those quick settings down there. Now in the camera setting, like I showed you, you'll get zooms, but if you swipe all the way to the left or right here, you'll be able to flip to the front facing camera. We'll flip it back to one time zoom. We'll double light press to go back to the camera settings and we'll move to the right where we have styles. We'll wait a second here, it'll show you we have standard. Now these are the same settings that are built into the camera app already, but you can swipe between them and get vibrant, natural, luminous, dramatic, quiet, cozy, ethernal, muted, and so on. And you can see live on screen how those are going to look just like that. Scrolling all the way, there are more here as well. You can see rose gold, cool rose, neutral. Just choose the one you like. For now, I'm gonna put it back to standard and we'll double light press to go back. We'll swipe left one more time and now we can access the tone settings. So this is going to change the tone. You have minus 100 all the way up to plus 100. And you can set that as well. We'll leave it at zero for now and go back. We'll move this way to the zooms. This pretty much works like how the camera section did, but now you have more of the optional digital zoom so I can zoom all the way past my optical zooms. In the camera section, those are just your optical zoom abilities. So you'll get more zoom here. Keep in mind, anytime you zoom in digitally, so past your max optical zoom, like on the iPhone 17 Pro, it's X8, you're gonna degrade the quality of your photo. So use it sparingly. Double tap to go back and we'll swipe to depth. So this actually has the ability to use portrait and you can see the depth of field. It's got natural down here. I can single press and I can control the depth of field and the blur of my background. Now I obviously don't have a good subject here, but you can see that it is controlling that blur and I would be able to use it just like I did with the regular portrait mode on the iPhone. We'll double tap to go back. And the last option is an exposure setting. If we light press on it here, we can do the same thing. Scroll across and scroll across. And anytime you're ready, once you've exited, you can always press. It'll take that photo for you just like that. Now, additionally, you can use this button to record video as well. So to do that, you're just going to press and hold and it'll start recording your video. Once you release your finger, the recording will stop. So that's going to be like when you take a quick video with your iPhone. So pressing on that shutter button and holding does the same thing. So those are the basic functions to the camera control button. But there are some settings that you can use to enhance and customize the functionality of camera control. So for this, open up your settings application here. 
scroll down and you want to find the camera section, tap on that. And here we have the camera control options. Tap on that. And this is where we'll be able to customize the camera control settings and options. So we're going to skip the first one because there's some extra features in there. I'll talk about those in a bit. But the second option down here is single click and double click. So this is the gesture you're going to use to open the camera control. So by default, when we single click, it would open camera control. But if we go back now and we set it to double click, we'll double press on that side button and it'll open up camera control. So that's a personal preference. I'm going to leave it on single click. Moving down is require screen on. So basically what that's saying is if your phone is locked, so like this, even if you have the always on display, you'll see it's dimmed. If I press on camera control, it's just going to wake the screen. I'll have to press it again to activate it. If I want that setting to be enabled so that I can access it even when the screen is off, I'm going to turn this feature off. Now when my phone is locked and you can see it's dimmed, I can press here once it's going to open the camera app. So I don't have to do the double press to wake the screen first and then press it again to access camera control. I'm going to leave it like this. I prefer to have quicker access. And we're going to go down to the control section here and we have camera adjustments. You can turn this off. And when you do have that off now, when you press and activate your camera control, you won't be able to light press to activate any kind of adjustments, it's basically going to be a shutter button and you'll be able to take your photos. That's all. So if you want that, you can turn off the adjustments. Otherwise, you can customize these adjustments by ensuring camera adjustment is on and tapping on customize and we can set up everything here. So first off, the two gestures are the light press and the swipe. If you want to turn those off, you can. Then you have all the controls and we went through those earlier. What you can actually do here is organize them. So the top would be what you would see on the left side and the bottom is what you would see on the right side. So let's say we wanted our camera to be all the way to the left and we want exposure to be all the way to the right. You're just going to drag on those little three lines. And now when we double light press cameras to the left and if we go all the way to the right, exposure is there now. So organize the different controls. And if you don't want any of the controls to be on that list, you can remove it. So if you didn't want exposure, tone, styles, and you just wanted to be able to control, say, camera and zoom. And now back in our camera, I double press. We only have those two options. So go through them and set them up the way you like. I leave them all on. And then lastly, here we have clean preview. I'll show you this as well. So when you open the camera app with camera control, this is how it looks. You can see all of this information on the left and on the right. So a double press, it's going to disappear. So it takes away, I guess, the distraction of all that stuff there. If you prefer to have those still there, you're just going to turn off the clean preview. And now when you activate camera control and you're editing, those features and options will still stay along the side so you can use them as well. So I'm going to leave that off and we're going to go back. The next option is lock focus and exposure. And if we turn that on and we activate camera control again, this time we're going to be able to lock our exposure and our focus. So you're going to light press on the button and hold and it's going to AEAF lock. So you still would need to kind of tap to focus and then you can lock in like that. And as soon as you let go, the focus will go away. If you just lock it in without tapping first, it's just going to make a large box in the middle and that's where your focus is going to be. So you can decide if you want that on. I actually leave it off and we'll go down to the accessibility options here. And the first one here is showing you how to turn off camera control. So if you don't like that button, you don't want it to work, you're going to turn it off. And now when you press camera control, nothing happens. But for most of us, extra functionality is useful. You can control the press force. So you have light, default, and firmer. And you can test it right here by doing the light press on the button and see how it feels. And then decide which one is best for you. You can also set the speed for the double light press and the double click press. So if you're having trouble 
pressing fast enough, you can set this to a slow, slower, and now you'll be able to control it a little bit better for your needs. So those were the settings for camera control. Now let's go over some camera control tips and tricks and mainly the ability here in the launch camera, we'll tap there, to access different applications by pressing camera control. So by default, camera is the option that is selected. However, you can tap on a code scanner. Now when you do and you activate camera control, it's going to look like this now. So I'm just gonna turn this and I have a QR code right here from the Apple box. And the great thing is I can still use controls. In this case, I have zoom sliders here. So I can zoom in, I can hold it over that QR code. And as soon as it focuses in, it's hard for me to do it like this, it's going to open up that web page here. So that is the code scanner with the camera control button. The next option is magnifier. So this is going to be your magnifier. So if you have trouble seeing things or you wanna zoom in on something, you can. You can use the camera control option here and you can zoom in. Again, your phone will vary based on what you can zoom in and out on. If you press on it here, it's going to just capture that in this mode. You can share it and save it as a photo. You can zoom in even more here with this zoom as well, but it gives you a magnifying glass ability and you can access that as well from the camera control section. Lastly, we can set the camera control button to none, which is another way to turn off camera control, and then none of the functions will work. I'm gonna put mine back to camera because that's what I'm going to use. Lastly here, you can use camera control both in portrait mode like this or landscape, and you can even use your touch abilities here to control different things as well. So that was the iPhone 17 Pro Max camera tutorial. And like I said, this works for the iPhone 17, the iPhone 17 Pro, the iPhone Air, and even the iPhone 16 Pro models. If you have any questions or ran into any trouble with your camera control button, or if you have any tips, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. If you're looking for more great iPhone 17 and iPhone Air tips, tricks, and tutorials, I have a full playlist of great videos to help you get the most out of your new iPhone. Hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos, and I'll see you in the next one.